46 years ago in September 1962, JFK announced to the entire world that the U.S. was going to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Seven years later, in 1969, the Apollo 11 mission did just that. Today, NASA is planning another trip to the moon, and they hope to be there by no later than the mid-2020s. They'll be the first to go back, that is, if China doesn't get there first. Come on, USA! 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 In any event, here at Discovery News, we've located some of our favorite clips from the final two Apollo missions from the early 70s. Number one from Apollo 16, a proper moon salute from Commander John Young. Hey, John, this is perfect with the limb and the rover and you and, and the Stone Mountain and the old flag. Come on out here and give me a salute. Big Navy salute. Off the ground. Clip number two, astronauts talking like real people. Good. Is that all we're going to do tonight was sit around and talk? Number three from Apollo 17, astronauts singing, skipping, dancing. I was strolling on the moon one day in, in a merry, merry month of December. Now, May, May. I like to skip along, but me, boy, skip. Number four, this is astronaut Jack Schmidt. This is astronaut Jack Schmidt getting frustrated. Oh, that gummit. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. Number five, this is astronaut Jack Schmidt wiping out. All right, they say give it a slight rotation clockwise as it's lifting out. Okay, okay. <laughs> there there. Flight. Hey there. Go flight. Uh, did you copy okay, what Al Schmidt was saying there? Uh, uh, yes, I did. On December 14, 1972, at 554 Eastern Standard Time, Apollo 17 lifted off the moon. The last person to ever make a footprint in lunar soil was this guy, Commander Eugene Cernan. Nobody's been back to the moon since, but that is certain to change soon. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.